Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Guys, just give me uh, like a minute or so. Uh, watch this, and I'll, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be in the chair. Don't worry. One minute. Uh, it's pretty cool when you see somebody that's a debunker out there in, in most cases and he comes across this photograph that is uh, presented to him and he sees no deception and uh, we'll have to say the same thing and back up Ellen Attic we're taking a close look at this and we're adding our own enhancements and we see no deception whatsoever whatever it is yeah but like just like Ellen Attic said is there a deception well what we're seeing in this and we agree with Elian Attic that there is no CGI. Could this be a staged event, some sort of mannequin, a, a prop of a sort? I've never seen this this particular alien like on a shelf. It looks whatever it is. It looks organic. It doesn't look like your homemade thing that you would see in a shopping market that would be placed in the bushes. This one here, it looks like he's got his hand out like this. That's what it looks like. So we see the thumb, there's the palm, and the fingers are kind of bent like that. Now the other arm, it looks like he moved the branches back, bends backward. See? And he's peeking. It's like he's putting his head through and looking through. Good evening folks and welcome to Alien Addict. I would like to say a massive thank you to all the new subscribers, all the people who are sharing my work and the new Patreons. Thank you. It is awesome. The support is it's overwhelming. That's what it is. It's overwhelming. Thank you. Now, to the video in hand. This image that I put out about a week ago has gone on to Third Phase of Moon. Also, Goof on Radio has featured it on his channel as well so there's two channels that i know about that are talking about it third phase of moon everybody knows who that they, they are they're the second biggest ufo channel in the world some might argue the biggest channel now that tyler's disappeared and on that note tyler is coming back he tweeted out a picture with his new computer in his new place of work and he will be producing videos again so good luck with the uh, with the comeback Tyler and go through your emails because this image was sent to you and me me and you have the hard copy of it so well actually we don't have the hard copy of it. the guy who took the picture in the first place has the hard copy but you know what I'm getting at you know put me on secure team 10 I've been on third phase of moon put me on secure team 10 because not because I want to grow this little alien addict channel because I just think this little image needs to be featured to the entire world do you know what i'm saying this is there's no there's no selfishness in this nothing i i i, I do it for the greater good i do it for ufology not for myself i do not want to quit my day job i'm quite happy on minimum wage okay but share it so i don't know if you noticed it in the last email before rich giordano started to read the email out for me but i actually put the email up for a split second um and the email was sent on the 9th of feb 2017 to me and it said originally he sent this image to secure team but he never featured it now i i kind of i can understand that i mean Big channels like Third Phase of Moon and Secure Team 10, they must get many emails. I mean, I get quite a lot of emails. I can manage them, but I do get quite a few emails. And I can imagine a big channel like that, it's hard to kind of sift through them. But my point is, this this image is, is on somebody else's computer. The only person that I know that may have it, other than myself, is Tyler. But it, there's people in the comment section saying they have seen this image. So my challenge is, if you've seen the image somewhere before on a video, featured in a video, please send me a link. If you've heard the story before, send me a link to the story. I want to know, I'm trying to investigate this with uh, Rich Giordano from Goofon, uh, Tyler from Secure Team's best friend. Um... 
but um, it's. I, I, I don't think anybody's going to find this image. Stand back up. So recently, I, I have been looking a bit around on the internet to see if I can find anything that resembles this image, a story that resembles the story that the guy told. You know, there's, there's a few things out there that are going to resemble the story a little bit. Um, you know, people seeing stuff in the dark and this, that and the other. Rich from Goof on Radio, I think, will be doing a live search for this image. If you, if you don't know who Rich from Goof on Radio is, I mentioned it before in the last video. Good friend of mine, he has been going 15, 16, I think maybe 17 years now in the field of ufology. And he, you know, has his own little show. He had a very big show that was taken out. That's another story, though. I am going to get Rich on the channel uh, to discuss that at some point. But yeah. Subscribe to Goof on Radio. It's a great channel. And he will be doing an investigation. He is doing an investigation on this. He wants to find it. Recently we've had many a conversation about this image. We've had little bits of back and forth. Where he says it's pareidolia. Then he changes his mind. And then he says no it's pareidolia. Then he changes his mind. Then I say oh it could be pareidolia. So... I don't think it's pareidolia. I think we've both come to the conclusion that we don't think it's parado, para, para, parakeet, pareidolia. Um, and if you want to know what I see when I look at that image, I'm going to draw what I see. I'm going to put this image into my iPad. I've got my Apple Pencil. That's not an advertisement. Um... But I'll try and get some detail on what I see in that image. And what I do see, if, if I just describe it right now, is I see an arm down to one side. And it's like it's hands like this. And it's peering round some bushes. But I think when if I out, out I'll just do a kind of... It'll, it'll be, it won't be a, you know... A, a, a work of art. I don't think I'm going to spend that long on it. I, don't, I might do, I don't know. Um, but I'll show you what I see. I only see one in the image. Yes, there are other faces. You, you'll be looking now and say, well, there's one there, there's one there. I showed my mum this image the other day and she said, there's a giant face there. I said, yeah, but that's not it, mum. She, she said, yeah, I know, but there's other faces, faces everywhere, all over it. That's pareidolia, mum. But... <laughs> That, then it kind of like debunks me. And it's like, well, maybe I'm seeing pareidolia. Maybe that's the, like the one of the biggest... If that's pareidolia, it's the biggest pareidolia I have ever seen. In pareidolia, a weird word. Pareidolia, pareidolia. Um, has anybody uh, subscribed to Scott C. Waring? He's got pareidolia. He, big time, yes. I love that man. Even though he did give me two copyright strikes. And I won one back, yes. Uh, Lion's Ground... Um, Help me with an email that won won my uh, copyright strike. The other one, YouTube, just kind of like just went turned me down flat and just went, nah, that ain't happening. Okay, fair enough. But I won one. Um, yeah, if you're a YouTuber, yeah, on, on that note, and you you see somebody else's featured your work and it is a debunk, have some cojones, just accept it. It's a debunk, you know? Hey. I'd just like to say a thank you to Third Phase of Moon for featuring the video, for Goof on Radio for featuring the video, and just spending the time to, to actually acknowledge that it is something and I'm not going crazy. So, yeah, I'm going to leave the links to both them videos, plus the timestamps to when they feature um, this image. Um in the description below so make sure you check them out now i'm not really going to go on about this for much longer unless i need to um I, i've kind of got it out i wanted to get it out um i felt uh like the last video i wanted to kind of change the subject from what was going on with secure team 10 because it's it was just going very much away from ufology so i thought i'd bring it back into ufology that was the idea i had anyway that and probably 
a little bit of clickbait. I don't know. You, you decide. Um, but yeah, if if you are one of these people like myself that likes to have a look into this kind of field, uh, this is what I did before I got my own channel. I'd see something and I'd and I'd want to find out myself what it was. So I'd go f f try and do my own research. I'd look, look through uh, moon images, NASA images, um, Mars images, you name it. I would look at it. Then put try and find this image, please, and send me a link. I'm alien at it, guys. I'm I've been I've been in this field now for well on YouTube doing it. Going on what four years, something like that, um, and it started to become kind of an obsession. It was a hobby. It's becoming an obsession, and it, I want it to become a job. So, your support is the main thing that I I need. For, the main thing I need from you is support. Now, how you how can you support the channel? The best way you can support me is simply by subscribing, clicking the bell. You the, the the thumbs up the thumb up I think it helps I don't know I think it does hit that thumb up anyway. Um, the main thing is share the video. You know, people that share stuff on Reddit and uh, the Facebooks and you name it, sharing my videos. I'm not just talking about this video. Go back and look at some of my oldest shite. There's some good stuff there. Sharing it kind of gets my channel out there. Um, and if and if you are a big fan of the channel and you want to become a Patreon, then get yourself over to Patreon. It's much appreciated. I, I want to do more things for my Patreons in the future. I'm trying to build that up. Um, I do put a lot of my art stuff on there, a lot of little doodles that I do uh, go on there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's fun. Uh, but I want to build that into something more. So uh, yeah. If you can come on the Patreon, if you if you can spare a couple of dollars or whatever, fantastic. If you can't, then just share the work. That's all. I, if that's if you if if you're one of these that says I'd love to come come on, but I can't, that's fine. Family comes first. You come first. If you can't afford it, that's fine. Share the work. That's free. Sharing my stuff is free. Hitting the like is free. Hitting the bell is free, um, and that actually does the channel. That's that's what grows the channel. Yeah. That's what I want to say. Anyway, guys. Good night. God bless. I'm Alien Addict. And uh, mind the bugs don't bite.